Hey guys, it's Caleb from JC Sports, and welcome back to another episode of Caleb Ask the Pros. Today, I will be interviewing Mr. Ben Gwill. Mr. Ben Gwill is a managing partner of the White Deer Energy and co-owner of our hometown Houston Dynamo. He graduated from Princeton University with a batch with a bachelor's in English and an MBA MBA in finance from Wharton Business School. Currently, he also serves on the board for AMD Anderson, as well as the 2026 Houston World Cup bid committee. Hello, Mr. Gwill. Would you like to say, um, would you like to say a couple of things about yourself for those people that may not know you? Well, that was a very good introduction, Caleb. I'm so proud to be with you, and uh, thank you for being a, a devoted fan of the Houston Dynamo and Dash and I'm just, I can't wait till we can get back in the stadium and watch our team uh, hopefully do well this year. How did you become interested in investing in the Dynamo? Well, I'm a small owner, uh, a very small owner of the Houston Astros. So when my son read that, that uh, Phil Anschutz, who was a 50% owner of the Dynamo, was going to be required to sell his 50%, I contacted the team and expressed an interest in buying the 50% that would become available. Uh, one of the existing shareholders, Gabriel Brenner, uh, got in touch with me and said that he had a right of first refusal on those shares and he was going to exercise it, but he wanted to have a Houston owner because there were no other owners of the team in Houston. So he offered me the ability to buy 10% of the Dynamo which I did. So I'm a 10% owner with Gabriel Brenner, Oscar De La Hoya, a fellow named Jake Silverstein in uh, Oregon, and also James Harden, our basketball player, and DeAndre Hopkins, you know, our former Texan football player, are also small owners. Did you play sports growing up? If so, which ones? Well, I was an enthusiastic high school athlete. Uh, the only sport I was very good at was baseball. I played third base. I could hit pretty well, but uh, I didn't play in college. And now all I do is play golf. So is that your favorite sport now? Is golf your favorite sport now? It is because I'm, I'm kind of getting older, Caleb, and that's about all I can do. I tried recently to throw the ball from third to first in baseball because that's where I played. I couldn't make the throw all the way to first base. So I felt kind of old, Caleb. What is your favorite soccer player? You know, my favorite player on the team just retired, Demarcus Beasley. I think he's fantastic. I mean, he represented the United States in four World Cups, and he's just such a nice guy, honest and friendly, and, and uh, he's, my, he's my favorite uh, dynamo. What did you do for fun during the quarantine? I haven't really done much of fun, but I've played a lot of golf. Uh, I'm, I'm going to the office now a little bit every day, and uh, I've spent a lot of time with my grandchildren. The most fun thing I've done is spend time with my grandchildren. I have six little grandchildren and one on the way. What is your, what is your favorite part of owning part of the Dynamo? My favorite part is going to games with people like you and and having a fun time and standing behind the net and saying hi to all the players that go in and out of the locker room. And by far, that's the most fun, going with, with fans like you and uh, seeing how exciting it is. I know that you are on the committee for bringing the World Cup to Houston. Do you think it will actually come to Houston? Boy, I hope so. It would be such a good thing for Houston. 17 cities in the United States are bidding for 10 spots. And I believe each of those 10 cities that are chosen will get six games. Uh, it's going to be very good for MLS to have the World Cup in North America, Canada, the U.S., and Mexico. I just hope Houston wins because it, it, it's going to be, not only would it be really fun, and, and uh, I hope to go if we get selected to the games, but it would be just such an economic boost to the city. So... I hope so, but we won't know until probably late next year or, or the year after.
Have you invested in other businesses or companies? Well, as I told you, I own a small percentage of the Houston of the uh, Astros. Now, those are my only two sports investments. But in my my business as a private equity investor, I have investments in a lot of companies in the energy space. Uh, at all times, probably 20, 20 different companies approximately. Do you have any advice for kids who might want to go into business? Well, I always have advice. I, I love talking to young people about their careers. Uh, and I am very uh, uh, old fashioned. I think my favorite expression is try hard and be nice because that's something everybody can do. Everybody can try hard and everybody can be nice. And I think good people are successful ultimately. And if you study hard in school and study the right courses and are really thoughtful about choosing the companies you work for or the career path you take, and you really try to be fun and pleasant to work with and, and, and the people you work for really make them like you and take an interest in your career, I think people will usually do quite well. And that's, that's my most important advice to young people. Try hard and be nice. Now it's time to play a game. This uh -oh. game is called Impossible Decisions. I'll give you two questions. I mean, I will give you two decisions, and you can only choose one. Are you ready? I'll try. Go. Would you rather live in a world that you can only play baseball or basketball? Baseball. Would you rather live in a world without music or without internet? Boy, that's a tough one. Without music or without internet? I think I'd rather live in a world with music without internet. Would you rather have cookies or ice cream? Ice cream. Would you rather live in a world where you can only choose your hairstyle or only choose your clothes? Well, my hair is falling out because I'm getting older, so I think I just, I, now I choose clothes. But when I was younger, I'd choose hair. Would you rather win a World Cup or the World Series? Well, selfishly, because I own more of the Houston Dynamo, I'd rather win a World Cup. Would you rather be invisible or time travel? Time travel. Um, that was our last question. Thank you for doing this interview with me. Is there anything else you want to say before I let you go? No, but I want you to promise me that when the season starts, you'll go to a game with me. I will. Okay. Thanks for doing this. To those who are watching, thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to see any of my previous videos, go to our YouTube channel, JC Sports Houston, and you will be able to see other interviews, training videos, and fun sports videos. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Caleb.